Here's your money briefing for Monday, March 20th. I'm Erin Delmore for The Wall Street Journal, filling in for J.R. Whalen. An investment that often doesn't get a lot of attention is certificates of deposit. But now, demand for short-term CDs is at its highest level since the 2008 financial crisis. I'm Erin Delmore, and joining me is Wall Street Journal reporter Hardika Singh. Hardika, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Give us a bit of context here. Why are individual investors looking for alternatives to investing in the stock market right now? Well, the easy answer to that is that markets are horrible right now for investing. People are really, really nervous about last year and this year too. Even though there has been a slight rebound, it seems like a lot of investors don't trust it. From late last year, we started seeing investors just rush into cash as an asset class. And it seems like this year too, that trend is continuing. People don't have many places to go where they can hide out from this market volatility. So what makes these investments, like CDs, money market funds, high-yield savings accounts, and treasury bills, so attractive right now? These investments are usually considered to be cash investments or as safe as cash. The reason why is that you can go inside money market funds, and they contain mostly U.S. government bonds, which are ultra-safe. So you are buying a money market fund, which buys those government bonds. So you're essentially, in a way, investing your money into something that is considered to be nearly as safe as cash, which is pretty good. If you go inside CDs, most of your money is insured by the FDIC. So up to 250K, the government will step in and essentially make sure that you have access to your funds. So a lot of these different investments, such as money market funds, treasury bills, high yield savings account, certificates of deposits or CDs, they're all boasting really high rates right now. That's something they haven't done in a really, really long time. And obviously, in a market where stocks continue to go down, bonds continue to fall, that's going to be very attractive. If you can get 5% by holding a CD, why would you go into stocks? Well, how is this different from what we've seen over the past decade? Over the past decade, the Federal Reserve kept interest rates very, very low. And obviously that was to help the economy after the 2008 financial crisis. That started an absolute spectacular bull run into the stock market where we saw tech stocks rallying crazy. They drove dozens of highs for the major indexes. And no one really looked at cash during that time because it was the era of TINA, or as we call it, there's no alternative to stocks. If you wanted to make money, you had to go into stocks. There was no way you were going to make money by holding cash. In fact, there's a statistic that says that if you held cash from the end of 1999 to, let's say, today, you would have lost over 300% in gains if that money had been invested in stocks. Well, that's the track record, that the stock market outperforms holding on to cash. So are the investors you spoke to using this as a long-term investment strategy or as a short-term safe harbor? It's tricky to answer that. Some retail investors I spoke with, they are planning to hide out in cash right now. And when the stock market gets a little bit more beaten down, they're hoping to deploy some of that cash and use it to buy the dip. So one investor I spoke with, Andrew Hipple, he's planning to do that. He is in cash right now in a stable value fund. He also has a high yield savings account. And when stocks decline a bit more, He said he plans to add to his stock allocation. So he's just using this to hide out from market volatility. Another investor I spoke with, he's been in cash forever, like not completely, but he holds way more cash holdings than what would be considered in a normal portfolio by analyst investors. He said that since he's lived through the dot-com bubble, the 2008 financial crisis, the 2020 market panic, he's planning to continue holding cash. So, Hardika, what else should someone who doesn't trade for a living know before they go ahead and take these same steps? So a lot of the financial managers and investors I spoke with said essentially that if you flock to cash during market turbulence, you risk missing out on future gains because you basically sold pretty low and now you're going to buy high in the future. So younger investors especially aren't advised to do this because they risk missing out on a bigger rebound or something. However, investors who are approaching retirement, they are recommended to rotate into cash a little bit more because in that case, you don't have as much time to recover from losses. Most of your gains have already been made. They're already posted there. 
So if you lose your money now, you don't have time to make it up. Hartika, you are our eyes and ears on the ground, or in this case on the web, on TikTok and Discord. Is this the hot tip of the moment? It most certainly is. <laughs> it's hard to scroll to finance TikTok or FinTalk without coming across somebody saying, hey, have you opened a high yield savings account yet? Are you locking in this like CD rate at 5%? If not, you're missing out on money. Like high yield savings accounts are so popular right now. In fact, one of the individual investors I spoke with, he said that's where he discovered what a high yield savings account is and how cash and cash like funds are providing such high yields, which is pretty interesting. Well, I was just going to say, isn't that a bit of a reversal? We all remember when that cohort, these groups of individual investors organizing on social media flocked to meme stocks, cryptocurrencies, and really moved markets over it. So now that you're seeing them taking the conservative route, go into cash, is that surprising? It is surprising, but not as much if you consider that this is one of the few places where you can make money right now. Yeah, retail investors were banding together on Discord, making all these types of servers saying, we're going to take Dogecoin or something to the moon. And obviously it has completely changed. Everybody is talking right now about cash. This is at the top of investors' mind. And that's your money briefing. I'm Erin Delmore for The Wall Street Journal. <laughs> 